the six types of business entities in 15 seconds. We have CNS corporations, LLCs, LPs, general partnerships, and sole proprietorships. I call these good entities because they provide asset protection and limit your liability while these do not. What's a C corporation in 60 seconds? A C corporation is a type of business entity very popular with large companies. It is formed by filing in articles of incorporation and it has a formal structure. The structure is that the company is divided into a bunch of shares and the shares are held by shareholders. These shareholders own the company and their ownership is based on how many shares they have. The shareholders elect a board of directors and the board is responsible for overseeing the company. The board is also responsible for appointing officers like CEOs and CFOs and the officers are responsible for running the company. Shareholders are not personally liable for the corporation, so if the corporation goes bankrupt and is in debt, the shareholders don't have to pay their personal assets to make up for the debt, and it is also governed by bylaws. What's an S corporation in 60 seconds? A S corporation is a business entity available for small corporations. It is very similar to a C corporation in that it's formed by an articles of incorporation filed with the government and it has the same structure with a company and its ownership divided into a series of shares held by shareholders who elect a board of directors who oversee the company and appoint officers who run the company. And like C corporations, the shareholders are not personally liable and it is also governed by bylaws agreed upon. So the added attributes to S corporations is that it has flow through taxation, which means you can avoid double taxation by being taxed directly through the shareholders instead of being charged a corporate tax. It also is required to have 100 shareholders or less and the shareholders must be citizens or residents. What's a limited liability company or LLC in 60 seconds? A LLC is a type of business entity formed by filing articles of organization with the state. Different states have different laws for LLCs and different countries have different names for a similar type of business entity. Also, it's relatively new, so there is a lack of legal precedence for LLCs. That means that when you go into legal situations, you may not know what will happen because it simply hasn't happened before. So there are a few differences that distinguish LLCs from corporations. One is that it is able to avoid double taxation. So when corporations earn profits, it's charged a corporate tax. And if it wants to distribute the profits to shareholders through dividends, it's charged a dividend tax. So this is double taxation. However, for LLCs, when it earns profits, it can distribute it directly to members and the members can be taxed individually. This is called flow through taxation. Stick around for part two. What's a limited liability company or LLC in 60 seconds part two? If you haven't seen part one, check that out because this video is a continuation of that. Going off of where I left off, LLCs also have flexible allocation of profits and losses, unlike corporations. Let's say as an example, a corporation is divided into three equal shares. The profits and losses must be distributed equally among all shareholders because they all own the same amount of stock and that is the law. This is not the case for a LLC. Let's say, as an example, the ownership of the LLC is divided into three equal parts. The owners of the LLC, called members, can distribute profits and losses however they want. They all have the same voting power because they own the same amount of the company, but for whatever reason, they can decide to distribute profits and losses unequally. Stay tuned for part three. What's a limited liability company or LLC in 60 seconds part three? If you haven't seen parts one and two, check that out because this video is a continuation of those two. So the last thing I want to talk about for LLCs is that it has a flexible management structure. So what do I mean by that? So for corporations, they have a formal structure that has to be adhered to legally. So they have shares that represent ownerships of the company and it's held by shareholders who elect a board of directors who oversee the company, who elect officers who run the company. This is not the case for LLCs because it can be either member managed, which means all the members or owners of the LLC can manage it together, 
or manager manage, which means that members elect managers who could be members or could be non-members to manage it. So it's very flexible and this gives it a, another benefit. What's a limited partnership or LP in 60 seconds? A limited partnership or LP is a type of business entity formed by filing a certificate of limited partnership with the government. There are two types of partners in a limited partnership. There are general partners who are personally liable for the company but have management authority and there are limited partners who are not personally liable but have no management authority. Because being personally liable puts your personal assets at risk, a lot of people create another business entity like a corporation or LLC to, to become the general partner to fully protect their assets. So you may wonder why would people form limited partnerships? It is very common to transfer wealth to the next generation because that way the older generation can manage the assets while the younger generation can own them without managing them. Also, it's a way to avoid the inheritance tax, also known as the death tax. What's a general partnership in 15 seconds? A general partnership is an unregistered business entity with two or more partners. It's generally a bad idea because you'll be personally liable for business debts and lawsuits and your personal assets will not be protected. What's a sole proprietorship in 15 seconds? A sole proprietorship is an unregistered business entity with one owner. It's generally not a good idea because you'll be personally liable for business debts and lawsuits and your personal assets will not be protected. How to protect your assets and limit your personal liability in business in 15 seconds. If you want to not be personally responsible for business debts and obligations and protect yourself from lawsuits, then you have to set up one of these business entities and register that with the government. What's a personal guarantee in 60 seconds? Let's say you own a business and you want to borrow money from a lender to expand the business. If your business is a registered business entity, it means that if your business isn't able to pay back the money to the lender, then you won't have to pay back the money with your own personal assets and your own money. However, the lender may ask you to sign a personal guarantee if your business doesn't have established credit. And what that means is that you agree that if your business fails to pay back the money, then you will pay back the lender with your own money and your own assets. Can you make a TikTok in SBA funding? Yes, I can. SBA stands for Small Business Administration, and it's a part of the U.S. federal government. They have a loan program, and how it works is that if you're a small business operating in the U.S. and are a registered business entity, then you can get a loan from one of the lenders who partner up with the SBA. And how it works is that the small business would get the loan from the lender like it normally would. And if it can pay back the lender, that would be great. But usually when a business is starting out, the business doesn't have any established credit. So the lender would ask the business owner to sign a personal guarantee saying that he will pay back the loan personally if the small business cannot. But the SBA program would guarantee the loan for the owner so that the SBA will pay back the loan if the small business fails and cannot pay back. And that would protect your own personal assets and liability. What is a charging order? So let's say this is you, this is your business, and for some reason you have a creditor that you owe money to. Maybe you got into a car crash and you owe him damages, or maybe you just owe him money for some other reason. So anyway, you have to pay him money, but what if you don't have enough money to pay for the damages? Then if you do not have a charging order, the creditor can reach and grab your business and take your ownership interest in the business and just take over the company. However, if a court grants you a charging order, which is available for LLCs and limited partnerships in most states and for corporations in some states, then instead of the creditor being able to reach and grab your ownership interest in your business, then you can instead allow the creditor to receive some of your distributions. But if you don't distribute your profits, then you don't have to pay him.